Presidents play a sensitive role in parliamentary democracies. Technically, they are heads of states. However, in reality, they exercise no real power. Their job is to ratify decisions made by the elected government. In Nepal, the president is refusing to do this. The government had passed a new citizenship law earlier this year. The president, though, has no plan to sign it. What led to this constitutional crisis? Can the young republic navigate it? Nepal is in the grip of another political crisis, a tussle between the country's rulers. On one side is the president, a constitutional post with no executive powers. On the other side is the government, the prime minister along with his cabinet. So what is this tussle all about? A citizenship amendment bill. It has been passed by both houses of the parliament, but the president is refusing to ratify it. The first rejection came on the 16th of August. President Vidya Devi Bhandari sent the bill back to Nepal's lower house along with a list of changes and suggestions. On August 18th, the government's lower house held a vote. It approved the bill once again and sent it back to the president, only to receive another snub. Another presidential dismissal. Reports say that this time, Bidya Devi Bhandari deliberately missed the deadline and chose not to acknowledge the bill, forget ratifying it. Her actions have sparked a fresh backlash. She's being accused of abusing her power. A statement by the Nepalese government reads, this unconstitutional move by the president has grossly insulted and devalued the federal parliament elected by the people. That's not all. The youth wings of ruling coalition parties, mainly the Maoists and the Nepali Congress, are seeking the Nepalese president's exit. And to drive the message home, they also plan to stage nationwide demonstrations. Stateless youth in Kathmandu, Nepal are staging protests against the President Bhandari's decision to not certify the citizenship bill. They are accusing her of taking away their constitutional rights and are demanding President's resignation. Just a while ago, the coalition leaders issued a joint statement terming the decision the step of the President Bhandari's as unconstitutional. We know that there has been differences between the Prime Minister's office and the President. After the disapproval of the bill, now there is an open confrontation between the President's office and the Prime Minister. So what explains the Nepalese President's apprehensions? Why exactly is she refusing to ratify the bill? Well, reports claim that she is against certain provisions of this bill. The first one is a citizenship provision for foreign women. This bill grants them the right to acquire citizenship immediately after marrying a Nepalese citizen. The second provision concerns citizenship to children whose parents' whereabouts are unknown. Under this amendment, children born to a Nepali mother who have no idea about their father could get citizenship on the mother's request. These changes would have entitled more than 500,000 people to citizenship certificates and eventually granted them voting rights. But the president doesn't like the sound of this. She says such a bill could threaten Nepal's interests. Her critics say she's only trying to secure the interests of her own party, the Communist Party of Nepal or CPN. Led by Nepal's former Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli, they're being slammed for trying to use the bill for political ends. You see, in two months from now, Nepal will head to polls and the CPN's prospects don't look too good. The party is trailing in every opinion poll. So is it trying to orchestrate a constitutional crisis simply for electoral gains? Who knows? Bureau Report, we on World is One.